Okay, let's see if somebody else joins. Okay, guys, so today we're going to continue working on the writing section and as program by calendar, this is our party session for the second question of the writing section, right? We're going to be practicing uh, the second question, which is the writing for an academic discussion. And you guys will be writing a couple of posts and we'll be checking them today here in class. Guys, let me see. But it is not Okay, guys, so I'm sending you the link to today's practice, please. I want you all to open this document. You already know what to do. You just have to read everything. You don't necessarily have to read everything though, right? We said, skip the instructions. Of course, you need to skip the instructions because you already know what to do. So don't read any of the first part. Skip the professor's introduction. So don't read any of this either. Go directly to the professor's question, to the last sentence of the professor's introduction. And then scan very quickly the opinions of your classmates. So scan what Sarah, try to answer what Sarah thinks, what her opinion is, and one of her reasons. Same thing for Mark. Scan what he thinks and one of his reasons. And then focus on writing the text. Don't waste your time reading carefully because it won't help you. Okay, guys? <clears throat> Do you have any questions before we start today's practice? Okay. 
Okay. Then you guys have 10 minutes to write your posts so until 25. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll be right here. So feel free to ask me if you if you get any questions along the way.
Okay, guys. So let's see, we're going to be starting, we're going to start to review your responses. Please send them to me. I'm gonna stop. Okay, we have Salmas, Oelias. Okay, guys. So let's see. First, we have Salma's response. It says, I completely, well, first of all, if we go back a little bit, the question is, does social media cause more harm than good? So it's a yes, no question. Yes, it does cause more harm than good. So that means it has more disadvantages than advantages. Or no, it's, it causes more good than harm. It's more positive than negative. Then Sarah, what's Sarah's opinion? I think what I agree that social media is harmful. Exactly. Sarah agrees. Sarah says that yes, social media has caused harm. Yes, it does. Okay. And what is her main reason? She talks about mental health problems, okay, such as anxiety and depression. Because here she doesn't really say anything. She says it has caused real harm, but she doesn't say how, or why. So this is her main point: mental health problems. And Mark is obviously going to have a different opinion. So Mark says that social media has mostly improved society, and he talks about giving a voice to people that were previously ignored, connecting people, right? uh staying stay connected to family and friends and to give a voice for people who were previously ignored. Now Sama says I completely support Sarah's opinion that, that social media has caused more more harm than good besides the fact that people become dependent on what social media say about them. Okay. Is this really what Sarah says? Salma, you sure? I'm not sure, but she said that like, the people have yeah, anxiety because of what people say about them. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, maybe. I would maybe try to mention the mental problems or mental health, mental well-being, something like that. Because, yes, I think you're right. It's a way of paraphrasing it, but I don't know. You can go a little bit more general. But it's okay. So it is widely known that a real and valuable relationship of friendship needs experience needs to experience face to face, face to face connection. Okay, it is widely known that a real and valuable relationship of friendship needs experience. Face -face. So I really like your idea, and I like the fact that it's completely different from what they already said. That's it's original, it's new. The grammar is, is okay a real and valuable relationship of friendship. You don't need to say relationship of friendship because friendship is already a relationship of friends, between friends, right? So maybe a, a real and valuable friendship needs to experience, always use to after the verb, um, after the verb need, when we have two verbs, needs to experience 
face-to-face -face interaction, let's say, or needs to have face-to-face -face interaction. It's really good though. Maybe one suggestion that I can give you here would be to try to make it a little bit more broad. I think you're narrowing it down a little bit too much. You're talking about friendships specifically, but maybe instead of talking only about friendships, you can talk about relationships in general. And then probably in your example, when you elaborate more, you can talk about friendships. But here, maybe you can say a real and valuable relationship, either friendship, uh, I don't know, family, or family with family members, romantic relationships, or even, um, let's say, uh, relationships in the professional area, need to experience face-to-face -face interaction. So maybe that would be one comment, but overall, I would say it's a good idea. It's no grammar is good. Then we say Mark has a good point when he says that social media allow us allows us to connect with people that can be away. Okay, good. The social media allows us. I think you have to use social media is even though it sounds like a singular now. It's plural, right? Because we're talking about different types of social media. Social media allow us, or maybe in the present perfect has allowed us to connect with people that can be away, okay? That can be away from us, maybe. Yes, perfect. Content is great because this is exactly what Mark says, right? Mark indeed said that social media help, helps us to stay connected. So yes, with people that can be uh, away from us. However, it is important to know that in social media, you can be in touch with more than 100 friends, but how many of them are close friends? Okay, good. However, it is important to know that on social media, when we're talking about digital platforms or technology in general, we use on instead of in. So on social media, you can be in touch with more than 100 friends, more than 100 friends. But how many of them are close friends? If this is a question, because it looks like a question, it has the structure of a question, then don't forget your question mark. But how many of them are close friends? A question mark. And if it's a sentence, you can say, but not many of them, no muchos de ellos, not many of them are close friends. Okay, instead of close friends, I would even say a real friends. You know, because I think that would make your argument even strong. You're saying that, yes, you can connect with people that are far away from us, but you won't really have a real connection with them, right? I like that the contrast that exists between those two ideas. For example, talking face to face makes a conversation more honest than using a cell phone or stickers to express your feelings. A cell phone and stickers to, to express your feelings. Exactly. That's why I feel that social media is harmful when we don't find a balance with reality. Perfect. Here, maybe I will try to be a little bit more specific. You can talk about one specific platform. Maybe you can say, for example, WhatsApp has allowed us to have, um, to send innumerable text messages to people from all around the world and to have, like, let's say, uh, and to have long calls with them. However, talking face-to-face -face makes a conversation more honest and using a cell phone and stickers to express your opinion. And finally, your conclusion, that's why I feel that social media is harmful when we don't find a balance with reality. I like it, but my suggestion will be make sure that your conclusion is a direct answer to the question the professor asks. The professor doesn't say, do you think that social media is harmful when we don't balance it with reality? Professor says, does social media cause more harm than good? Then you need to say something like that, right? Social media has more disadvantages than advantages. Social media is more harmful than it is beneficial. Maybe. So don't talk about when we don't find a balance with reality because that's not a topic. And you're also kind of weakening your argument. That's why I feel that social media is more harmful than beneficial, right? Maybe that so that you can answer the question more directly. 
but overall i'd say it's a great response well done. i think you really understood how the structure works what to say in every element you only had like a few very very sep like very extraordinary grammar errors and they weren't even grammar errors you know they were maybe idiomatic errors but great response eh? well done Thank you. Is there a maximum or minimum of words? As you can see in the instructions, they say that an effective response should contain at least 100 words. But here you had 146, so it's perfect. It's more than what you need, for sure. If you guys have at least one sentence per element in the... So if you have all of these sentences, then you're good with 100 words at least. Okay. Any other questions? You okay, guys, so do we really only have Salmas and Noelia's responses? What about the rest of you guys? Natalia, Jimena, did you guys write your posts? Yes, but I didn't finish because uh, I sent it anyway yeah of course if you haven't finished you can also send it or maybe well yes you can send them i was i was so yeah you, you can go ahead and send it. okay guys let's see noelia so noelia says i completely support the idea that social media has more benefits than cons perfect now in this case i wouldn't say i completely support this idea because this isn't what the question says right that's what the question says that social media ha has caused more harm than good the opposite so I'll try to talk about, try to mention the students, um, the student's name here. Maybe you can say I completely support Alex's idea or Mark's idea, sorry, because Mark is the one that has that idea, right? So I completely support Mark's idea that social media has more benefits than cops, you know? But try to mention the student that you're with. Now, besides the fact that people could spend a lot of time on social media, it is widely known that you follow an algorithm with the things that you choose to follow. So if you choose to follow or looking for things that improve your knowledge, social media is not bad. Mm, okay, okay. Remember that when you say besides the fact that, here you need to mention what the student that you agree with said. So you need to mention one point that Mark said. But I think this is what, what Sarah said, right? It's not what Mark said, that people can spend a lot of time on social media. Mark didn't say that at all. Sarah kind of implies that people spend too much time on social media because it says that people spend too much time, right? So don't get confused. You agree with Mark. No tú estás de acuerdo con Mark. Entonces acá tienes que decir, además de lo que Mark dice de que Y tienes que mostrar si estás diciendo que tiene más beneficios, un beneficio, ¿no? Además del beneficio que Mark menciona de, de que ha dado voz a las personas que han sido antes ignoradas, y luego añades otro beneficio, otra razón. ¿no? Entonces, con este besides the fact, necesitamos siempre mencionar un punto que mencione el estudiante con el que estamos de acuerdo. Es decir, Mark, en este caso. So, besides the fact that social media has become uh, a platform where people uh, can express their opinions, I don't know, has become a platform where people I don't want to repeat has given a voice, you know, so maybe has become a platform where marginalized maybe groups can now. <clears throat> okay, so I'm trying to paraphrase it instead of saying people that were previously ignored, I'm saying marginalized groups can now have a voice. But this is what Mark said, right? It has to be the same. So besides that, besides the benefit, it's also widely known that 
you follow an algorithm with the things that you choose to follow. So if you choose to follow or looking for things that improve your knowledge, you should use. Okay, I think I know what you mean here. You say that everybody has a choice, right? So you have a choice what to use social media for. So if you use it for a good thing, for, for looking for positive information that, that adds to you, to your life, then it's not bad. Okay, I think I, think I get the point. Maybe it's a little bit it's a little bit confusing the way it's phrased. So you can say it is widely known that uh, let's say you choose the information and content that you follow, right? Maybe you choose the information and content that you follow. So before the word so, when it's used as a connector, we have to use the comma. So if you choose to follow or look for things that improve your knowledge, yeah. So if you choose to follow or look, choose to look, choose to follow. So if you choose to follow or look for things, for content, instead of things perhaps, that improves your knowledge, maybe, I don't know. Social media is not bad. Okay. It's okay, I like it. Maybe as for the idiomatic expressions, I don't know if it improves your knowledge is correct. Maybe you can say increases your knowledge, right? Or that enriches you, maybe, enriches your mind. Perhaps that can be a, a good phrase. I don't know. Social media is not that. Okay. Está muy bien. It's a different, it's a different point. It's not something that they already mentioned. Mark didn't say anything about the fact that we get to choose what we want to do with social media, right? What information we want to search. So I, it's original, it's different. Maybe the phrasing could be a little bit better. Try to not repeat too much. Things like follow things, follow too much. So, or because we have three follows, right? Follow, follow, follow. So something is a little bit, something is not correctly phrased there. But it's not bad. Now, Mark has a good point when he says that Social media provides platforms that have led to positive changes. Oh, okay, you got confused. In yeah. this part, right? You got confused. Okay. So yes, it's just the other way around. In this blue part, you need to talk about the student that you agree with, Mark. And in this point, you need to challenge what the other students are. So Susan, or what's her name? Sarah, sorry, Sarah has a good point when she says that in some cases, uh, people have, people are suffering from mental health problems due to, an, uh, I don't know, an incorrect use of social media. Say. And then you say, however, it's important to know that social media is also helping other people to cope with mental problems. Maybe we can say that, right? So, es verdad que algunas personas tienen problemas mentales, han desarrollado enfermedades mentales por las redes sociales, pero también está ayudando a otras personas a aliviar los problemas mentales. Okay. Dependiendo del contenido, podemos decir algo así. Acá no diría esta, no tendría esta idea de it's important to know that social media keeps people connected. Porque esto es algo que ya mencionó Mark, ¿no? Y acá tenemos que, que, lo que tenemos que hacer es contrastar la idea del otro estudiante, algo que esté relacionado y que sea nuevo, ¿no? Pero que con, contraste lo que dijo el otro estudiante. Entonces, uh, Sarah has a good point when she says that, um, I don't know, cyberbullying is, is damaging people's mental health. However, it's important to know that in other cases, uh, thanks to social media, many people who suffer from health, mental health disease or mental diseases are recovering or are, are able to cope with their problems. 
And then you can give an example of that, right? We can give an example of how social media is helping people with mental diseases. So maybe you can say, for example, people with anxiety are now able to get in touch or people with depression, thanks to social media, are now able to get in touch with, let's say, professionals that are volunteering to help uh, to help people in need. Tal vez, no? Las personas que sufren de depresión pueden conectarse con algún profesional por social media. Or maybe something like that, right? As an example. Porque en este ejemplo, you are giving an example of the idea that Mark already gave. ¿No? Entonces, esta idea ya ha sido mencionada, así que no la podemos tener ni para la idea ni para el ejemplo. Solamente eso. That's why I feel that using social media let us to grow and connect with our loved ones. Está bien, pero a la vez, lo mismo que con sal. Hay que responder directamente a la pregunta. La pregunta no es, ¿crees que las redes sociales permiten conectar y crecer con, los, con nuestros queridos? ¿Nuestros seres queridos? No, la pregunta es, ¿crees que social media has caused more harm than good? Entonces diríamos, that's why I feel that overall, en general, social media has brought more benefits and has brought more, has brought a positive. Tal vez algo así para parafrasearlo, pero en realidad lo que estamos diciendo es lo mismo, ¿no? Tiene un impacto positivo, un impacto negativo. Más ventajas que desventajas, más pros que cons. Pero está Entonces, bien, que hemos practicado así también. Eh, ahora es, está mejor, masteramos la estructura. Acá siempre es el punto del estudiante con el que estamos de acuerdo. Además de lo que el estudiante dice y añadimos nuestra idea. Y luego decimos, el otro estudiante tiene un buen punto con esto, pero tal y tal cosa no es cierto o tal y tal cosa hay que aclarar. Y luego elaboramos, ¿no? Por ejemplo, ejemplos y la conclusión. ¿Entiendes? Thank you. Yes, thank you. Llegar, super. Bien. A ver, también tenemos. We also have Natalia's response. Let's take a look. Okay, so Natalia says, I completely support Mark's opinion, Julia. Besides the fact that social media gives people the chance of saying their opinion without being dishonored. Bien, exacto. Esto es lo que dice Mark, no? Social media has given a voice to people. Entonces, social media gives people, el verbo give no necesitamos en tú. I give you, you give me. It gives people, it gives people the chance of saying their opinion, of expressing, siempre después de una preposición como of, about, with, on, um, creo que esas son, ¿no? About, I'm forgetting one, I'm pretty sure, for. Of, for, about, with, on. If you're going to use a verb after that, then you need to use a gem, ing. Entonces, the chance of saying. Um, this is about using social media. It's important to use social media for staying connected with your loved ones, no? for staying connected, about using social media, the chance of expressing your opinion. This is siempre con esas proposiciones. This is of expressing, tal vez, me lo saying, of expressing their opinion without being, no sé si dishonored sea la palabra, Without being silenced, tal vez, sin ser silenciados, porque en realidad judged, pero en realidad sí los juzgan, ¿no? Los social media, entonces, no sé, without being judged, without being silenced, creo que sería más adecuado. Dishonored, this es como, eh, dishonored, como si no tuviera honor, ¿no? No sé cómo explicar, dishonored. Um, So, for example, if you are a king and somebody does something that you explicitly said not to do, then that person is dishonoring you. 
Me estás quitando en un horario. So, I don't think it's the case without being silenced. Maybe. It is widely known that social media is a great tool for the growth of companies and people who work or who work in them. Perfect, muy bien. Es una idea original, no lo mencionaron, no lo mencionó ni Mark ni nadie más. Y me parece interesante que nos enfoquemos en un en otro contexto, ¿no? Ya no hablemos de comunicación, sino de compañías. The social media is a great tool for the growth of companies and for people who work in them. When you work in companies, you are them. Muy bien. Perfect. No, nothing to say there. Sarah has a good point when she says that people could suffer mental health problems using platforms on social media. Bien, bien, or using social media platforms, ¿no? Perfecto. Entonces, el contenido está muy bien. Exactamente en esta parte. Eh, mencionamos un punto que el otro estudiante con el que no estamos de acuerdo mencionó, ¿no? Sarah has a good point when she says that people could suffer mental health problems due to the use of social media, maybe, or using social media platforms. Muy bien. However, it's important to know that people can have or could have those problems without using new social media. Muy bien, perfecto. Me gusta que está relacionado y que hace, cumple la función de contrastar lo que dice, ¿no? Si es verdad que las personas, muchas personas sufren de problemas mentales por las redes sociales, pero también las sufren sin las redes sociales. Entonces, no es realmente el caso de culpa de las redes sociales. So, however, it is important to know that people could have these problems, muy bien, Without using social media. Only, no sé, without using social media. Está muy bien. ¿Y luego un ejemplo? Estaría bien. So maybe some details. Incluso podemos poner aquí una idea más para que puedas elaborar esa idea. Podemos volver a lo de las compañías, ¿no? Podemos decir, uh, besides uh, companies, y luego un ejemplo de las, de las empresas. Bien. Está muy bien, muy bien hasta acá. La verdad no, no tengo ningún comentario más que algunas, algunas frases, vocabulario, un poco de vocabulario, un poquito de gramática con los gerundios, pero nada más. Hey guys, any questions so far? Thanks. Bien, let's see, Jiménez. Please. So we have, I completely support Sarah's opinion. Bien. So, in this case, I think it's the first one with Sarah. Yeah, I completely support Sarah's opinion. Besides the fact that while people prefer social media, this could affect our health. Okay. Eh, está muy bien. La idea es sacar la idea de Sarah. Ahora, en cuanto al phrasing, besides the fact that mientras las personas prefieren, well, people prefer social media. Podríamos decir, besides the fact that the use of social media, el uso de las redes sociales, maybe. Sorry. Maybe you can say, besides the fact that um, the incorrect use of social media could affect our health, muy bien. El this ya no es necesario porque el this es un pronombre, ¿no? El this reemplaza al nombre, a la, a lo, de lo que estamos hablando. En este caso estamos hablando del de uso de social media, pero si ya decimos el uso de social media puede afectar, entonces ya no es necesario decir esto, ¿no? Si no dijéramos el uso de, sus, de social media, entonces ahí sí podemos tener el this. Entonces, besides the fact that the incorrect use of social media could affect our health, bien, podríamos decir our mental health. It is widely known that according to scientists, people who use these, who, who use social networks, tal vez parafraseando, want to receive some dopamine and it is addicting according to the scientists. Bien, me parece bien. A pesar de que en parte está relacionado a lo que ya dijo Sara, creo que es una adición 
diferente, ¿no? Está realmente añadiendo al, al punto, porque no mencioné esto exactamente. Me parece bien la idea de usar adicciones, ¿no? Creo que no se mencionaron. Uh, ok, no, no hablan de adicción. Entonces, me parece muy bien, muy buena idea. Está relacionado, sí, pero no es lo mismo, así que está bien. Entonces, it is widely known that, according to scientists, people who use social media want to receive dopamine, coma, and it is addicting, according to scientists. Muy bien. No repetiría according to scientists, porque ya dijimos according to scientists antes, pero sí podríamos decir, and it is addicting, or this can be addicting, or it can become addicting. Or people can become addicted, tal vez. Está muy, bien. muy bien. En cuanto al contenido, está muy bien. Un poco de gramática, no repetir las frases. Pero está muy bien. Um, yes, it's okay, Natalia, don't worry. We'll see you next class. I'll check out, don't forget to check the WhatsApp chat because I'll be sending instructions for our next assignment. Okay, thank you. Bye. Oh, uh, and it is a dick. Muy bien. Contenido, perfecto. Mark has a good point when he says that these platforms provide political activists. Perfecto. Me gusta mucho la forma en la que estamos resumiendo y esta frase es muy buena para usar. Political activism. However, it's important to note that people can feel able to change politically some situation, but just in a superficial way. Ok, me gusta la idea, está relacionada a la idea de Mark y sí la contraste, ¿no? Entonces, uh, this platforms provide political activism o tal vez boost, no es que tan, sino que encourage political activism. However, it's important to know that people can feel able to change, to change some situations politically. Um, okay. Cuando utilizamos un verbo que necesita un objeto, to change something, to change a situation, y luego utilizamos un adverbio, el adverbio siempre va al final. To change some situations politically. ¿no? To do something well. To live, uh, I don't know, let's say, to give, Uh, opportunities surprisingly, digamos, pero siempre al final. Bien, to change some situations politically, but just in a superficial way. Okay? That's why I feel that if I have the choice, social media okay, cause more harm. Falta una parte de elaborar un poco más en la idea. Entonces, faltan aquí un poco de detalle. ¿no? podrías concentrarte en esta parte de la política, ¿no? en las desventajas que tiene el social media para la política incluso podrías mencionar sobre la mis, ¿cómo se dice? misinformation la información eh, falsa ¿no? que circula maybe you can talk about that or maybe some details right, that are related to what you were saying before que están relacionados a lo que dices antes ejemplos, detalles específicos tal vez hechos ¿no? 20% of people feel that they have the power of influence and in politics through social media, but this is not correct, for example. Y yeah. And then your conclusion, that's why I feel that if I had the choice, esta parte de acá, if I had the choice, no es parte del template. Solamente lo que pusimos en la anterior pregunta, porque era, si tuvieras la, la opción, ¿qué priorizarías? No? Pero en este caso, la pregunta es, do you think that so social media has caused more harm than good? Entonces, eh, no, no podemos poner if I had the choice, ¿no? porque no se trata de elegir realmente, se trata de una opinión. Entonces, that's why I feel that social media causes more harm. Bien, me encanta el hecho de que estás respondiendo a la pregunta directamente. ¿no? La pregunta es, ¿does social media cause more harm? I feel that yes, it causes more harm. Entonces, está muy bien. El contenido está súper bien, te faltaba la parte de elaborar, un poco de gramática, eh, algunas, algún uso de vocabulario. 
pero está muy, está muy bien, creo que estamos empezando bien para hacer la primera práctica. What do you guys think now? Questions, comments, suggestions, maybe on this writing? No comments, no questions. Because this is our last class for the writing section, right? With this, we're done with the writing. We already saw question one, the integrated question, and now we're finishing question two, the writing for an academic discussion. I would say it's just a matter of practice, porque ahorita estamos viendo el contenido, tips y demás. Pero otra cosa es con la presión del tiempo. En 10 minutos exactos o en 20 minutos de otra pregunta. Entonces, eso es cuestión de práctica. No es solamente eh, practicar sin tiempo, ¿no? Sino practicar reduciendo el tiempo cada vez más. Porque si no, pueden hacer algo perfecto, pero no en ese tiempo. Ya no, no sirve de nada. Entonces, practiquen. Les voy a enviar el assignment, second assignment. And, well, I'm going to also send you one link. This one here. It's tofelresources.com. It contains various examples of this question because honestly, there are not, there's not much material available, but this website contains a few examples. And the good thing is that you guys are able to see some uh, sample responses as well. Entonces tenemos no solo los ejemplos, sino sample responses, sample answer one, sample answer two. So it's, I would say, really helpful, okay? Para ver de qué temas tratan, vocabulario y leer los, los ejemplos, ¿no? Y como les dije, hay varias formas de responder, así que los ejemplos se van a dar cuenta de eso. Hay muchos, no solamente una. Lo aconsejable siempre es estar de acuerdo con un estudiante. Esa es la más fácil, la más segura, pero no es la única. Ok, chicos, entonces les enviaré el link. Este. Um, no questions really, is it all clear, all okay? Yes. And please don't forget to fill out today's daily survey, it should be on your screen. And I will be seeing you guys next week. Hope you have a great week. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Or oh, next week, sorry. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Bye.